Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So surprise, we got our kitchen redone and I'm going to show you the before and after, take you through the process. Maybe it will give you some ideas, inspiration for redoing your own kitchen. So I hinted that something big was going on and I showed a little sneak peek on my Snapchat to see if any of you would guess and almost everybody guessed that I was pregnant, so no, that's not <laughs> what it was. Although I guess the kitchen is my new baby. This might seem like it came out of nowhere because I never mentioned that we were even thinking of this. And the truth is, is that we had planned on redoing our bathrooms. We got quotes for the bathrooms and that's what we had saved up for over many, many months. We've been saving for about a year and a half now. We were all set to go with the bathrooms and then it dawned on us that we don't really use the bathrooms all that much. Well. Maybe Ryan does. So it seemed to make more sense if we were gonna redo anything, it would be the kitchen, because that is the heart of our house. We spend so much time there, we hang out there. When we have people over, everyone seems to gather in the kitchen. So that's what we decided to do. The look we were going for was white and bright. So I know this is not going to be everyone's taste because it is very white, but just keep that in mind. It's what we like, so not everyone's gonna like it and we're okay with that. And believe it or not, Ryan will be very proud to tell you that he was the main designer. He actually picked out a lot of the materials and had the vision for the kitchen. Designer Ryan is a little bit of a diva. I'm gonna take you through each of the changes that we made and then at the end show you the big reveal. So stay tuned to the end so you can see the finished product. And before we jump into it, I do wanna point out that I have a huge giveaway going on, giving away an iPhone X. So you need to be subscribed to my channel to be a part of that. So make sure you're subscribed and all the other details will be listed down in the description box. So with all that said, let's jump into this. Okay, so this is how our kitchen looked before. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful kitchen, but it just wasn't exactly our aesthetic. The big issue that we had is we felt that the beige countertops kind of clashed with the rest of our house. Everything else is very gray, cool tone, and this was a warm tone beige countertop. So the first big change was the countertops. What we originally wanted to do was marble, real marble. But then when we looked into the price of real marble, we very quickly changed our minds. And the other thing with marble, it's not quite as durable. You can use it in the kitchen, you just do have to be pretty careful. And I wanted something that was more kitchen friendly. So then we came to what we ended up using and that is called Carrera New Quartz. So it looks like Carrera marble, but it is made out of quartz, so it's a lot more durable and the price is right. It was very well priced. So the Carrera New was perfect for what we were looking for. It was a cool toned white and it had very subtle gray graining in it. From afar, you almost can't even see the gray detail in it. It looks almost just white and that's what we wanted because the tile that we went with is a little bit busy. So I didn't want too much going on in the countertops that would clash with the tile in the background. So this is what the kitchen looked like with just the new countertop installed. And at first when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is too much white. I wasn't loving the way it looked. So I was hoping that the tile would bring it all together and it did. So the second thing we picked out, or should I say Ryan, my designer picked out, was the backsplash tile and we went with a marble herringbone tile. We found this at Lowe's and it came in the sheets, which is awesome because if you do herringbone without it coming in, the pre-done sheets. It's very time consuming and very expensive to install. How the backsplash was done before is that it stopped kind of halfway across the wall, but what we wanted to do was extend that tile all the way up to the ceiling. We thought it would just make more of a dramatic impact. So this is what the tile looked like before it was grouted. And I was having a little issue. I didn't like the way that there was just a little bald spot above the door frame. So I went back and asked him to also add some tile there. And then here is what the tile looked like once it was all grouted. We just love it and I love the way that it complements the countertops. It is a marble tile so it has slightly different dimensions and colors to it and it's somewhat busy but not over the top and I think it does look nice against the more white countertops. With the kitchen island we decided to extend it by a foot and a half so that now we have a dine-in kitchen. So now you can seat four around the end of the island here and this is awesome because we didn't have much seating before and now we can kind of cook and entertain. Another little detail we added with the tile is that we tiled this little nook over here on the side of the kitchen where we keep some of our appliances so the toaster oven and the blender go in this nook and it just looks 
a lot nicer. I love this little detail of having the tile here. The next thing we did was we added some pendant lights above the kitchen island. I think this just ties the entire space together. It makes a really big visual impact. It was really easy to do. So we went with these chrome geometric shaped pendant lights. I think I found these on Overstock. They were not very expensive. So now for some of the details and little things that we change, we went with a new faucet and what we got for this is a touch faucet. So instead of having to touch the handle on and off, you can just tap it anywhere and it will turn the water on. And this is just great for sanitation purposes. If you're handling raw meat or if you have dirty hands, you don't have to touch the handle constantly. The other big change that designer Ryan insisted on was getting a new stove top. The one that we had before was just all white and it kind of blended in with the countertop. So instead, what we got was this stainless steel range. And this is a great time of year if you're thinking of doing any remodeling or changing out your appliances because everything goes on sale in November, December. So you should look out for deals. We got this one, I wanna say like 30% off. Now you guys know that I don't like to have too much stuff out on my countertops, including appliances. I only keep the things out that we use every day. Everything else we have tucked down underneath in the cabinets but I wanted to add just some decor so it didn't look so plain. I actually wanted your opinion of what you think looks better in the center island here. This is option number one. It's a little bit more understated and simple. Or option number two, this is a larger arrangement, but we're not sure if it's just a little bit too big for the space. So let me know in the comments what you think, option number one or option number two. And the last thing that we decided to do, just to tie everything together, because now the kitchen is so white and cool tone, it clashed with the fireplace, which had the beige stacked stone tile. So we just switched that out for a white stacked stone tile. And it's really beautiful. I don't know if it will come up on camera, but it sparkles in the light. So in dimmer lighting, it sparkles and it glows. So I just love it. So that was it for our kitchen remodel. We are just in love with the way it turned out. Again, I know it's not gonna be everyone's taste because it is so white, but that's what we wanted. So we are thrilled with it. And give us a thumbs up if you want to see me do a kitchen cleaning video soon. I think it's time. It's long overdue here on my channel. If you guys have any questions about anything, ask down in the comments and I will list all of the materials and things that we use in the description box. So check there. With all of that said, I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. The name's Bradford. Ryan Bradford Thomas. Designer to the stars. Oh, oh, you think something like this just, just accidentally happens? Oh, that's cute. You think this just happens? Do you? Oh, whoops. Oh my god, I'm just gonna come in here and just like, whoops. Oh, look. Well, time is money and money is time, so let's hurry up. Let me show you. This right here is herringbone. It's actually made of the bone from herrings. It's true. A lot of a lot of herrings had to die for this kitchen, okay? <laughs> Hashtag totally worth it. The less I have to touch something or someone, the better. Abracadabra. Move along. I would have Brittany put my information in the description box below, but I'm actually booked out for the next 16 years, so good luck trying to schedule me. Wait, I'm getting paid for this, right? You know I don't do pro bono.